Oncology Tube exclusive video. At ASCO 2025, a pivotal study took center stage, the CHALLENGE trial, published in the New England Journal of Medicine on June 1, 2025. This phase three trial followed 889 colon cancer patients, comparing a three-year structured exercise program to health education alone over nearly eight years. The primary endpoint, disease-free survival, showed a 28% lower risk of recurrence or death in the exercise group, with five-year DFS at 80.3% versus 73.9%. Overall survival improved significantly with a 37% lower risk of death. 90.3% of the exercise group survived at eight years compared to 83.2%. Dr. Christopher Booth, professor at Kingston Health Sciences Center, called the results transformative for colon cancer care. The exercise group saw liver recurrence drop to 3.6% from 6.5%. New cancers fall to 5.2% from 9.7%, plus better fitness and quality of life. Mild musculoskeletal issues rose to 18.5% in the exercise group, but there were no major safety concerns. Terry, a 62-year-old patient from Ontario, stayed motivated with coaching, walking 45 minutes several times a week to feel better. Dr. Jeffrey Meyerhardt, medical oncologist at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, noted this is the first trial to prove exercise reduces cancer recurrence. Dr. Kerry Cornea, professor at the University of Alberta, urged that exercise be made available to all colon cancer patients as a standard treatment. Funded globally by the Canadian Cancer Society, Australian NHMRC, and Cancer Research UK, this trial has worldwide impact. Some at ASCO 2025, like Dr. Aaron Goodman, hematologist-oncologist at UC San Diego Health, felt this trial deserved a plenary session. It's now encouraged to integrate structured exercise into colon cancer care, making exercise specialists a key part of the healthcare team. If you like this video, please consider sharing and subscribing here and visiting our written web companion on oncologytube.com, which is noted in the description. Thank you for watching.